just finished the workout and I'm speaking softly because it's still really early Monday mornings I do a 6.30 workout on Zoom so I just finished that. We started our morning this morning with this lactose free milk and this morning now I'm quickly whipping up some boiled eggs and instead of serving it on toast like I usually do I'm going to serve it on a bed of spinach, slice of bacon and some sunflower seeds. So that's breakfast on day one of paleo. Yeah, I'm looking way more presentable now. It's about just before lunchtime. I've done a couple of chores, did a little bit of work this morning. Now I'm going to start getting some things ready. I'm already not sticking to the planner like I lay out because I'm only getting a lot of my fresh fruit and vegetables delivered tomorrow. So I've had to change things up and I'm telling you that because it shows again that you can make a plan, but it is flexible. You don't need to stick to every little thing to the T. I'm probably going to roast some veg now so that I've got veg for tomorrow's sweet potato bowl and veg for something else. I'll figure it out. And then I see from tomorrow I've got pumpkin muffins as snacks. So I think I'm going to make some pumpkin muffins now. So I'm going to get on that, do a little bit of food prep. And then it just makes the rest of the week easier. Not that I have tons of work in my life at the moment, but I'm just trying to stay in my good habits so that when the work comes, I'm still used to keeping up the good things. I'm checking out the recipe for the first time. It's really easy. I don't even think I need to make a video. You literally put all the ingredients in a food processor and bam, that's your muffins made. And then you obviously bake them. Just a quick one though. I quickly Googled some alternatives and it seems ghee, G-H-E-E, -E, is a perfect substitute for almond butter. So I'm going to make them with ghee instead, much more affordable. For pumpkin puree, I want to show you. <laughs> I was too lazy to make pumpkin puree, so I've just bought purity. I don't know if that's fine. I'm going to use these and hope that it also turns out fine. I'm telling you this to once again show you like substitution, make it work with your budget, recipes, or baking, you kind of need to stick to the recipe. But for the most part, if you're not sure of something, just Google substitutes that you can use and make healthy living work for you and your budget and your lifestyle if it's complicated you're not going to do it flights are opening on the 15th only for business travel but someone messaged to ask for a quick quote so i'm going to stop what i'm doing because i haven't done a quote in so long and i'm going to quickly do a quote then i'll carry on baking okay back to baking Also says maple syrup, couldn't find it anyway, just using honey instead. Okay, I'm altering the recipe some more. We're going from eating things with a lot of sugar in to basically two tablespoons of honey. I don't think I can do that. So I'm gonna put two tablespoons of coconut sugar as well. Yeah. I think we need to go down slowly. Another thing I tweak, I didn't add the collagen peptides because I don't know where the hell you get that. Why won't this turn on? Okay, well that's a fail. This isn't. Definitely want more cinnamon. That's like the best flavor for me. Mm. Yeah, I really like the cinnamon. Oh, I haven't put baking powder in. This is the world's biggest butternut. I can make three meals from this then, it's huge. Lots of veg for the rest of the week, makes my life easier. When we wake, hear the birds and see the sun. Side by side our fears are done. All the good times just begun. Have you 
ever. This thing is the size of my face. Just got my order from Beatbox. Really excited for that. Things all look pretty good so far. And huge. Very, very big. Cabbage. Look at this cabbage. It's so big. I'm just giving everything a quick rinse just to be safe. Okay, I'm really happy with how everything looks like. These are so massive. Decent sized onions. Pretty happy with that. Look how healthy my house looks. Fold to the brim. I'm going to use those tonight. Fold to the brim. Get some chilies. And so much fresh produce. I have a serious problem. Wrong with me. <laughs> I don't know how to close doors. This morning I did the sweet potato bowls. I personally thought they were really good. I'll make them again. Grant was a bit undecided, but he's getting them again regardless because he did say it was nice. It was just different. It kind of was like a mozzarella, but I hate mozzarella and I liked it, but it's the closest way I can think of explaining it. It was really quick if you pre-cook the sweet potato. So I definitely recommend to roast a bunch of um, butternut and sweet potatoes and stuff to use throughout the week. And then you can use the sweet potato. I sprinkled some, there's a, Nated coconut over it which wasn't on the recipe and I left out the coconut cream which was on the recipe and it was really nice. A bowl was actually 400 calories so it's quite a, a lot of calories but it was so filling and it kept us going till half past one and with no snacks or anything like we were sorted. Then for lunch we just had leftover butternut curry then we had those muffins that I made the previous day. They are a bit of a weird texture. I don't think I'd recommend using pure tea. I think rather actually do butternut or pumpkin puree. I think it'll give it a better texture because they're quite wet. I think they taste quite nice. They've got like a nice spicy cinnamon nutmeg taste which I really enjoy. I warm mine up in the microwave for 15 seconds and it has a nice comforting winter taste. It's just a texture that's something to get used to. It's not your conventional muffin texture but it could just be because I use pure tea. It might have been a bit too wet. Otherwise they were nice, I'll make them again. It had a nice sweet flavour. I usually have such cravings for chocolate after lunch and I didn't today, so yay. Tonight I'm making cabanara but without dairy, so you use coconut cream. I'm not using pasta, I'm using zucchini. So I need to get that resting for half an hour, so let me get to that. Good morning. Another early morning yet. it's absolutely pouring with rain in Cape Town. Just finished a Zoom class and Grant's heading out to do a little bit of work today. So we got a whole lot of snacks and breakfast here on the go. Let me show you. Grant is having some egg on spinach. I'm quickly roasting some sunflower seeds to sprinkle over. These snacks, some almond, a muffin, cashews. And then I've made him a mint and spinach and pear smoothie just as a snack to keep him going. That's breakfast and snacks for today. And then he should hopefully be home for lunch. I'll probably make some of the veggie chicken soup because it's pouring today. Just a quick one about yesterday's meals. Paleo cabanara, it was really yummy. The recipe says arrowroot starch for those of you who didn't know, because I didn't know. That is basically corn flour, but it's made with a plant called arrowroot. So it's for those oh, that can't have any corn. Usually I'd say things you can substitute if you're not paleo, but I would say if you're trying to avoid cheese, Definitely you can't substitute the nutritional yeast. It gave it such a nice flavor, a very cheesy, smoky flavor. I wouldn't leave that out, even though I was like, oh, what the hell is that? I'm pretty sure I don't need it. That was quite a vital ingredient to the meal. You can get it at Diskem. I struggled to find it and Diskem had it and it's not very expensive. It was a winner, except the recipe said it's four portions and I'm sorry, it was not enough for four portions. I just up everything. So there's no leftovers for lunch today, which is a bummer. So far enjoying it, I think we just need to wrap our head around the fact that there's less carbs and carbs are quite filling. Last night's dinner, because the pasta we use, baby marrow spiralized. When we were done eating, it was almost like, hmm. Like you have that, that feeling like you're missing something. You're not getting that pasta -y goodness. But once you just gave it a minute, it actually was very filling because it's quite high fat content. It had bacon in and coconut milk, coconut cream, which is very high in fat content. So the because I just up the whole meal, just over two portions, it was 400 calories. But yeah, using my fitness pal, I'm allowed to eat 1,700 calories a day for the goals I have set. And with the really big 400 calorie breakfast, um, 400 calorie dinner, and I think lunch was maybe about 300 and then snacks also being about 400 i was still under so i think i ate one 1600 and something so even with the high content of fats good fat though and the high calories it's still because you're not having all the carbs and the junk food and stuff 
you still actually fit in the calories. So yeah, feeling good. We have some breakfast before it gets cold. It's lunchtime and it's not going completely according to plan. So I had to go run some errands, so I only got home now. I was gonna make chicken soup, but I'm quite hungry. It's one o'clock already, and by the time it is cooked, it's gonna be far too late. Snacks, we had a little bit of a small handful of nuts, pumpkin muffin and a mint and pear smoothie so we've had quite a bit of snacks so i am just gonna rather make some homemade hummus as i had some chickpeas i needed to use and i'm allowed to have chickpeas i'm just having that on some whole wheat toast and then for grants i'm gonna maybe take some of the chicken out from the chicken soup i'm about to make and maybe just make him like a chicken salad or something because i also don't feel like all this effort of making the soup now and then having to cook dinner again so i'm just gonna whip up something for lunch something he's allowed to eat i think it's gonna be cheap chicken soup for dinner instead recording this because it also just shows like life happens and you don't always stick to the meal plan exactly as is but at least now my house is full of good food so i can whip something up i think for me because i don't have to avoid grains i think my lunch is pretty healthy whole wheat bread and some hummus for grand year i'm gonna make him something something healthy things don't always go according to plan but you can at least try and still stick to your goals because you've got tons of ingredients that you can use. Just have to be a little bit creative or just make something else in the meal planner that's quick and easy. yesterday it's freezing today we are trying to keep warm hey don't bite me <laughs> you were enjoying those cuddles a second ago <laughs> i'm actually really enjoying it what i'm enjoying about it is it's very similar to how we used to eat it's just having to substitute or replace certain things so yesterday i made these curry chicken wraps which i make all the time it was just instead of having wraps making almond flour wraps which were really nice not the same texture as wraps it was more like a pancake but still super yummy it's making muffins but just using different flours so i like that we can still kind of eat the same foods that we were eating it's just about replacing an element in the meal it doesn't feel like this massive change yesterday we had leftover soup for lunch and then i made the wraps for dinner with the chicken and then this morning i just had leftover curry that i put in the the wraps with a boiled eggs some spinach and some kale we'll probably have leftover soup again for lunch so that makes my life really easy all right i want to make like a beef stew because i need to use the cauliflower today so i need to make cauliflower rice and i need to use the mushroom so i think like a beef stroganoff or something something hearty i'm really cold <laughs> Grant is just watching a movie in the other room, so I wanted to quickly just in here and talk a little bit about how the past few days have been going. We really needed to get out the house today, so we went to one of the wine farms up the road from us that have opened up for trail walks, and they also had a little deli, and so we got to buy some really exciting stuff. Lots of carbs, which we're not supposed to eat on the paleo diet. So many carbs. <laughs> But the awesome thing is they are all gluten-free, dairy-free, sugar-free, so they're completely paleo-friendly. Because of that, we are having homemade hamburgers. Quite looking forward to it. We always like to have something a little bit naughty on the weekend. We've actually been really, really good this weekend, so looking forward to that we can end off the weekend with a little bit of a cheat meal, but it's still being completely paleo-friendly. But we've really been enjoying it. I love that it's very similar to how I normally used to eat. So it's not like I had to make big adjustments. It's more just the ingredients I use I had to adjust. Still got to make brownies, which was awesome when we were 
craving something sweet so i just had to use coconut flour and honey instead of sugar they were delicious francis found some sugar-free chocolate and when we wanted something sweet in the evening especially now that it's so cold we have made hot chocolate but instead used raw cocoa and put some coconut sugar in it's nice that there are substitutes get those sweet craving out the way but it doesn't feel like you've gone completely off track so that's what i like about it another thing i'm really enjoying is i use my fitness pill to load all my food and um, quite often i've loaded the breakfast and the lunch and they've been like 400 calories 500 calories i know we had the other day which was 600 calories which is really really high i never usually have meals that are so uh, big in calories so I'm like, oh crap, I'm gonna go over what I'm supposed to eat. But I've been so surprised. Every single day this week I've been under and that's with having a glass of wine, with having a gin and tonic. <laughs> um, we have not been able to cut alcohol out of this diet. All we have, don't take alcohol away from me. That's what I've really, really been surprised by. The meals are quite filling, really high in calories, but I don't go over and I'm full by the end of the day. I don't even feel the need to eat anymore. Like I say, we've been having chocolate brownies. We've been having a glass of wine. On Friday, Friday I did waver off a little bit from the eating plan because it was so cold and I wasn't feeling well on Friday. So I ate and ate and ate. I had breakfast, which was eggs and leftover curry. I had whole wheat bread with peanut butter on. I'm allowed to eat grains. It's Grant that's been strictly told no. I had for lunch chicken soup. For dinner, I made beef stroganoff with cauliflower rice. We had two chocolate brownies and I had a glass of wine and I still had 300 calories left to eat. I'm quite enjoying the diet and we're feeling really great. Grant is feeling awesome. So great because he hasn't been well. He's already feeling the difference. So that's awesome. And yeah, we now have all of these so cool carbs that you can snack on. Oh, and this is another thing that we found, pumpkin noodles. It's grain-free, gluten-free, carb-free, sugar-free. The ingredients are pumpkin, psyllium husk, seaweed extract, coconut oil, and vitamin C. A really healthy noodle alternative. So I'm gonna make some spaghetti bolognese sometime this week and then I'll give this a try as well. So yeah, that's so far an update. So awesome, we're busy making some homemade burger patties. And the thyme, rosemary, parsley, and rocket has all come fresh from Grant's little garden. It's really homemade, like good and proper. Oh, I wasted. The city lights are shining so bright. All these empty faces. We don't care about them tonight. We're going out of ourselves. Can you feel it? Almost like I don't know if it's real. Cause when we're doing Conclusion, we're now on day nine and we haven't faltered at all other than me having a little bit of whole wheat bread now and then and it's going really awesomely I've said it every time I've spoken that we really enjoy in this diet and I'm not a diet person I don't think I've ever ever in my whole life done a diet I believe more in just creating a healthy lifestyle but this feels like it can become a lifestyle obviously like I've said the only reason we're doing a diet per se is because of the doctor's recommendations. So we're not doing it for weight loss, but pretty epic bonus. I have lost about 600 grams, give or take, and I think Grant has lost three kilograms. And I'm super chuffed with that because I have been working out just about every single day since lockdown started and have just maintained my weight, which I guess is great during lockdown to maintain weight. But I was like, why? Like, why is nothing changing? So it's really cool to see that just in one week there's actually been some changes now and it doesn't feel like I'm starving myself in fact I probably feel sometimes like I'm eating more than I was before really tasty food there's quite a lot of things on that menu I'll make again it's been really fun to experiment try new recipes I've actually really enjoyed the week the only thing I can see being a problem when we get busier in our lives so it for anyone who's watching this and you're already maybe back at work lunch can be a bit tricky because you can't just quickly make a sandwich or get a burger or have some toast so for lunch it's definitely going to be advisable to meal prep maybe do big batches of vegetables and chicken breasts and just have those packed in uh, tupperwares it's been awesome I'm, I'm so happy that we can have sweet treats and restaurants seem to have a lot of gluten-free things and sugar-free things markets seem to have online stores seem to have so that's why i feel like it is something that can be maintainable 
and we can do this for a long period of time and the best part because it's not about the weight and anything like that is that we're actually feeling good i feel really good i feel full all the time i've just had lunch i feel like i've had a massive portion and it was just a normal portion of leftover butter chicken that i made last night with the naan bread without any butter without any cream without any sugar so yes thumbs up so far for this week one of paleo we will definitely be continuing i'm quite happy so far and i am gonna make date balls for our snacks this week so stay tuned um hit the subscribe button hit the bell and i'll have a video coming up for that soon amongst the many other cool recipes that i give a try have an amazing day guys the sun is out in cape town it's been really really cold and gloomy so i put on some flowers i'm gonna go for a walk outside and i'll see you in my next video bye I know we're acting stupid.